What's up guys, it's Denny and I'm back with a new tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to create page turn. Looking good, isn't it? So let's learn how to do that. Firstly, I head to Pinterest and downloaded some pictures which look like magazine layouts. You can download more of them like if you want to create more page turns, but I guess this video is more for demonstrating how, th how things work. So, um, but if you have your own project, your magazine, go ahead and just upload your, your, your layouts and your, you know, pages. As you can see, after I downloaded pictures, I headed to Photoshop where I adjusted each of the picture size because now each of the size of the picture is different and you don't really want to deal with it once you're animating in the After Effects. So we're going to do it now. We're going to do some preparation and just adjust it, you know, so that it really looks like a magazine and then we're going to save it individually. It's time to animate, so first things first, we have to create our composition. I'm naming the composition magazine and I'm making it uh, 9020 to 1080. And I'm leaving the duration to 10 seconds and making the, uh, the color of the composition nice blue. But it's up to you and we're gonna hit OK. Now it's time to upload our files to After Effects, so let's do that. As you can see, once I upload files to Timeline, uh, they have the same size, so we don't have to, you know, manu manually size them or anything because we already did the preparation in the Photoshop. And I'm just gonna put it uh, on the one side, on the right side, because we're gonna like, obviously we're gonna, you know, do the page turn, and so we need to have more space on the left. So I'm just going to turn on the grid and align it to the center. Okay, I think we're ready to apply some effects. And we're going to search CC page turn and apply it to our first page. And to look at like a magazine, we have to play with the settings a little bit. You can see that it already created this sort of a page turn. But I don't really like uh, how is it transparent and I want to attach the second page like from the back of my front page. So how I'm gonna do that? So in the menu you can actually see the back page. We, got, we want to attach it to our second layer, to our page A in this case. I also don't like how transparent it is, so I'm just gonna crank up the opacity to 100%. Okay, and now is the problem. So we actually have like, you know, the page from the back of our first page, but also as a third page, we gonna disable the second page. And here we go, quite easy, right? Okay, so now we have to create our keyframes for the folding. Uh, and we're gonna do it with fold position. I'm having it in the right bottom corner. So it's, you know, visible and then I go all the way to the left corner, to, to the other side. And I'm also playing with the fold radius, so my fold is more, more sharp. Let's preview it. Yeah, looking nice. So let's apply CC page turn to our third. Uh, file as well. Crank up the opacity to 100. And now you can actually see that uh, here's the problem, right? Because the page goes under our first two pages or let's say first page. So how are we gonna do that? Ladies and gents, let me introduce you to masking. So let's firstly create our keyframes just the way you did at the first page. And to mask uh, the first page properly, we have to pre-compose it first. 
So I'm just gonna, so we're gonna select it and right click it and uh, click pre-compose. And I'm just naming it page one, page two. Hit okay. And now we're gonna grab a pen tool and just uh, draw a nice rectangle around our front page. And the first keyframe you, walk, you actually want to create when um, it's opened already. And you have to go to mask and select mask path and create the keyframe. Then we're gonna select a second keyframe right when our third second page goes under our first page and we're just gonna mask it there. And as you can see I'm just going like every few frames and just creating the you know adjusting the mask. That way our first page is vanishing and it is substituted by our second page. So here is our second page turn and now we have to do it for the last one, for our last page. Uh, so we're gonna apply CC page turn again to our last page. And again, we're gonna crank it up the opacity and in this case, I don't really care what's on the back because I don't have like a sixth page. So I'm just gonna go with it and leave the back of the page the same as this the front and I just kind of realized that I apply two page turns so it is a mistake please guys don't do that you don't need two page turns one is enough again we're gonna create uh, our keyframes for position then we're gonna pre-compose our third and fourth file so our second page so right click pre-compose name it hit OK then again we're gonna grab a pen tool and draw a nice rectangle around our second page and again you want to create the first keyframe of the mask path right where our last page goes under our second page and then go every few frames and adjust the mask again And we're done. What a headache. I hope you learned something new and subscribe this channel if you already not doing it. Uh, like it, write a comment below. I'm gonna be grateful when you let me know what would you like to learn in next tutorial. And see you next time.